Okay, I just thought I'd do a little more in-depth on my uh, panels here, my system. Uh, these panels I'm, I'm using, they're 85 watt panels. Uh, that's 685 watt panels. That's 225 watt panels. And these here are 10 more 85 watt panels. That's five and that's five. Uh, and they're all 12 volt panels. Um, so I'll just take you inside and show you what I got inside and what's running off of it. How I'm making use of my system. Um, I showed you guys my battery bank and how everything is here. Hopefully the lighting is better on this video because my last one I noticed the lighting was pretty dark. But that's my two inverters. Uh, they're trip light uh, 12 volt inverters, uh, 2000 watts each. My 1600 amp hour battery bank, 12 volts. Uh, my stuff here and um, I, well, I really want to show you guys is how I'm using the power and uh, I'm using it to power, I'm powering my garage, uh, I'm not using these uh, fluorescent tubes here, I'm using my uh, LED strips for my garage lighting, this one and I have the same over here over my uh, work table. I picked those up at an LED store uh, and I like them, they run off 12 volts. Uh, I have the on and off switch right here on my uh, charge controller so that's off see what they look like off and on so then I'll take you inside and show you some of the things I'm running off solar um, like I said before every load of clothes we wash in this house get washed on solar um, not the dryer of course that's 220 um, <clears throat> I'm hoping the lighting is better, but my whole kitchen, everything's running on solar, and except for the uh, stove. The stove is 220, but everything else runs on solar. In this room, we runs everything on solar. Let me uh, stop this uh, YouTube video playing on the computer. But yeah, that's a 61-inch TV that's running on solar. Uh, all, it's running off this computer right now. Um, watching some YouTube um, and uh, all my appliances and game systems all run on solar um, so what I'm showing you guys is I'm not skimping on what I'm trying to run on solar I'm just running normal things that everyone would run in their house computers stereo systems PlayStation uh, video games um, sound bars projectors and subwoofers and light fixtures and uh oh wait show you ceiling fan wait ceiling fan runs on solar um so yeah I, I, I use everything on solar um 90 uh about 98 percent of my 120 usage in this house is on solar and um and um, none of the 220 is on solar, so that's basically all. The only reason I have still have an electricity bill is because of my 220 usage. Uh, I run all these computers and everything on solar, so I get I get a pretty good use out of it. My uh, battery bank was fully topped off yesterday, and when I woke up this morning, it was at 11.9, uh, which was a bit low. But today the sun came out and uh, topped it off. I was getting about 85 amps going into my battery bank all day today up to about uh up to about the t it's about 450 right now almost five o'clock and you can kind of see my panels are starting to get shade uh these over here are already in the shade thanks to my chimney up there but uh in my house and these are uh, still catching some sun at about 445 455 is the time right now as you can see i got a little bit of shade on the edge of that one there but it's working out pretty well for me and um yeah my system uh my system works well i i i kind of like bragging that every load of clothes i wash is on solar every load of dishes that i run in my dishwasher is on solar every time i run the microwave this refrigerator is running on solar 24 7 365 and my system's been up and running for about a year now like it is without any problems nothing's failed on me and uh I like it. It says 
I commend anyone who build a system and uh, um, I'm self-taught. I, I learned a lot and I already knew a lot as I do a lot of electrical work and stuff like that um, and electronics. So I put it all together. It wasn't hard and um, I recommend anyone that can do it, do it. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I can say one time we had a storm and the power went out and we were sitting here watching the Blu-ray movie and uh, on this TV here and we didn't even know the power was out. Only way, only way we did know is by looking at the stove and uh, the time was off on the stove. The time wasn't no longer showing on the stove. So yeah, uh, that's, that's how we knew the power was out and that's, that everything remained normal in the house uh, besides the clock being off on the stove and that was pretty cool. So comment on it, uh, ask any questions and I'll be happy to explain to you more on what I have. Thanks guys, bye.